What's going on, arcade nerds? Imagine this. Imagine if you could have a special monitor that would allow you to play Pac-Man, which is a raster game, okay? And then at any given time, I want any at any given time, you could Kelly flip the switch, play a vector game on the same monitor. Now I have some issues right now, and I know exactly what it is. This is this is is end, ending up becoming a, a very complicated yoke winding setup. Um, and I actually actually I have it dead on perfect, dead nuts perfect, but some of my windings are the opposite direction. So I'm gonna have to rewind this yoke by putting by putting the windings in the correct direction, and you know and have a relay system that's going to change the windings on the yoke. So. Damn it, I actually have it here. It may look like shit. I have it, but I have some of the windings in the wrong direction. So I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'll get to it sooner or later. I know a lot of you guys have been bugging me to get this going, but, uh, you know, I will. Flip the switch back. I will, I will, I will. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I might just put it on the back burner right now. <laughs> this is, you know, the boot screen you see with the 16 one when it first boots up. But, uh, yeah, um, okay, let me talk about something here. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize, okay, I, I, I used Teespring when I did those shirts, okay? Uh, and it, by the way, any of you that bought shirts from me from Teespring, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. But I didn't realize that it was like, it ended up being like 28 and 29 dollars for some of you guys just to get a damn t-shirt. And, you know, it gave me a price, but I didn't understand that it was going to give everyone else such a crazy price. And, uh, you know, by the way, that money is, go is going, going towards me getting a better camera. I would like a camera with manual focus for reasons like this. Um, but anyways, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to lower the price of the t-shirts. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to sell them at cost. I'm sorry if, if you're offended, if you're angry with me. Uh, if you already bought a t-shirt at full price, but I just don't feel right about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these t-shirts uh, for, for let's say, two weeks. at Because it's been about two weeks. I've had them up now, right? I'm going to sell them for two weeks at cost. And I believe that's like ten bucks. Um, so, you know, if you guys want an arcade Jason t-shirt, um, go, go back to Teespring. By the time this video is uploaded, they will be sold at cost. Not one penny towards me. But uh, all right, guys. This is just a teaser. Uh, you know, when I, whenever I get this going, I think it'll be awesome. But uh, for now, you know, hey, at least it displays a perfect raster picture. That entire yoke coil is custom wound. The coil that, that's being energized right now is a whole custom, custom coil. Um, <clears throat> guys, I had to match the inductance and so forth. But uh, see, I have a couple, couple theories of how I'm, how I'm going to do it. I have uh, a coil over a coil. A center tapped coil and so on. Um, I think a, a center tapped coil might be best, but I'm going to go a coil over a coil route because it'll be easiest to do. So, right, yeah, it, you know, all right, have a good one, guys. Where are you going? This video ain't over yet. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I want to take this time to say thank you to Tommy, and I'm, I'm going to butcher your name, Tommy Herricks. Um, Tommy Herrix, he called me, he, he, he's, he's an arcade nerd, he watches the channel, and uh, he found me on Facebook, and he says, hey, can I talk to you, so I talked talk to him over the phone, and he had some issues with his um, uh, Star, Star Wars, and uh, I ended up not even giving him the answer he needed, he ended up getting the answer he, need, he needed from someone else, uh, Eugene Mosh is the guy's name, but, uh, you know, it, it, he, he was... <laughs> He, he asked me, is there anything you need? And uh, I said, well, not really. I don't know, you know. I mean, what, what do you say, you know? <laughs> but, <clears throat> um, so I eventually said, you know, my desoldering iron is a piece of crap and it's dying and I'd like to get a new one someday. You know, and he says, well, I'll buy you one. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I, he, he sent me a $200 desoldering iron. What the, well, that's, that's, all, that's, that's very nice. I really appreciate that. That's... That's, uh, that's pretty fucking cool. Thank you. I appreciate that.
<laughs> Anyways, and I want to mention someone else. Um, his name is Mark Herring. Uh, Mark Herring is also Smart Bomb on the Cloth. Um, and Mark Herring, he makes these, uh, he makes custom glasses. He makes like, uh, and it's like etched, and it's, it'll, it's, it's for like uh, sports teams, I believe. And he also makes them for arcades, you know, arcade stuff. And look what he sent me. Not one, but two arcade glasses. Check this out. Arcade Jason. Isn't that badass? And so, oh, um, my wife wanted me to do this. Hold on. She's got this light. She said you have to do that in the video. Arcade Jason. Isn't that cool? Um, so, <clears throat> thank you very much. Um, if you want to buy glasses um, from Mark, I'll put a link. Uh, you know, I'm not going to put a link. I'll put a picture right here. And, uh, you know, so let me take this time to talk about Pinball Expo. Um, Pinball Expo is coming up, and the graphic will be up now. And um, I'm going to do a seminar at Pinball Expo. Uh, also, Todd Tucky, he's going to be at Pinball Expo. He's going to do a seminar. And there's tons of other guys, and I'm very forgetful, and I forget them all. Uh, <laughs> but there's lots of guys. They're going to do seminars, and there's going to be tons of pinballs to play. There's going to be some video there. Um, yeah, go to Pinball Expo. Check it out. Um, what else? Oh, you know, I was thinking about uh, some future videos. And in the comments, uh, you know, give me, uh, give me some ideas. You know, I'll get to this eventually. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this. Getting the uh, raster slash vector monitor working. Uh, I will. I mean, have you ever... Have you ever thought about something for so long and put it together in your mind and you were happy with the result even though you didn't actually do it? That's kind of how I'm feeling. I got, I got to kind of kick myself in the ass to actually finish this. I will. I will. I'm, I'm going to put it on the back burner for now. I will do it. I promise. But uh, anyways, so let me, let me go over some games. Uh, some games. Some future videos that maybe you guys might want to... to uh, you can vote on it in the comments, okay? Um, I'm thinking about making a video where you can convert any black and white vector monitor into a color vector monitor. Yes, it can be done. Um, um, or, 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 you know, there, oh, Scott Swayze. He's going to come over my house um, next weekend. And would you guys like to see a video of Scott Swayze? Scott Swayze, he's the guy that made the Major Havoc... You know what? Let me turn this around. <laughs> He's the guy. He's the guy that made the Major Havoc uh, FPGA. He also did Omega Race FPGA. He's working on a Quantum FPGA, Asterac FPGA. He's doing all kinds of awesome FPGA stuff. And this, you know. On the internet, you see a lot of people, I'm working on this, I'm working on that, and it takes them years. Scott, man, he's, he's got it, man. He's, he's awesome. I mean, he's moving. When he says he's going to do something, he does it, which is awesome. Um, what else? Wrote some things down. Oh, also, I forgot, forgot to mention, Mark, he sent me this, and he wants to know how to operate it. This is a flyback tester and a yoke tester. Um, uh, and I'll, you know, I'll make a future video of this um, of how to operate it. What else? I got a couple post-its over here I'm trying to read. Uh, oh, you know what? This isn't on my post-its, but uh, I'm going to try to I'm, I'm going to try to do like a viewer mail kind of thing. Like uh, uh, John from John's Arcade does. Um, you know, I've, I've always wanted to do that, but in the past, I didn't have enough viewers to even make a difference. Now, believe it or not, I get, you know, maybe 10 emails a day, which is funny because I'm such a small guy. I get so many questions, and on top of that, I get all these um, texts and stuff from Facebook. People are always asking me random, random, stupid, you know, arcade stuff. And um, I don't want to be a ripoff of John's Arcade, but... I kind of want to do it. I want to do it so bad I don't care if I'm a ripoff or not. So I'm going to do like a viewer mail thing. So um, if you don't like that idea, give me some give me some reasons why. Give me some comments. You know, just give me some comments. 
But um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. Um, give me some ideas on future videos. Um, you know, just tell me what what kind of stuff you guys like to see. I like doing the videos either way. So you know. <laughs> All right. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.